Welcome to Granny's Kitchen. What if I told you I have a magical pot that churns out fantastic meals for weeknights in absolutely no time? I am just joking. There is no such magical pot, but there definitely is a magical recipe which you can prepare in no time and I think it's perfect for weeknight dinners when you are pressed for time and do not want to make two to three dishes. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Four chicken breasts, six ounces each, one small yellow onion, finely chopped, one bell pepper, finely chopped, four cloves of garlic, minced, one fourth cup of chopped cilantro, one tablespoon of chili paste or one jalapeno, seeded and chopped, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of cumin, one fourth teaspoon of oregano, one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, one fourth cup of water, half a cup of white wine or beer, salt and pepper to taste. Preheat a large skillet over medium high heat and add in one tablespoon of oil. Season both sides of the chicken breast with salt and pepper and sear them in the hot skillet for just a couple of minutes on each side. Transfer to a plate. Add the remaining oil to the skillet, reduce the heat to minimum and add the onions, garlic, pepper and half of the chopped cilantro. Season lightly with salt and pepper and saute until the vegetables are soft. Add the chili paste. If you are using a jalapeno, add the chopped jalapeno to the skillet with the onion mixture and stir around for just a minute. Add the wine, allow it to cook for about 30 seconds. Add the tomatoes followed by water, cumin, oregano, salt and pepper. Bring the sauce to a boil, cook it for 5 minutes, reduce the heat to minimum Transfer the seared chicken breast back into the sauce, partially cover the skillet with a lid and cook everything together for about 10 minutes. Sprinkle with fresh cilantro and serve. The dish is full of fresh flavors and is sure to become a hit with your family members, I guarantee. You can serve it as it is or accompanied with some herbed rice. I will go and have my chicken before it gets cold. See you next time. Bye-bye.